Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, keepingitfree.blogspot.com. You know, in the early 1980s, black artists had a very hard time. I mean, very hard time getting their videos played on MTV. Looking back, it's shocking, but I encourage everyone to Google it. I lived through the era. I can tell you black artists, no matter how good the video was, had a hard time getting on MTV. It was only when David Bowie and a few other artists started to tell MTV, I don't want you playing my videos on your channel until you start considering more black artists that the dynamic changed right that's what it took to change the dynamic now let's talk about Indiana right I consider this most recent law which comes on the heels by the way of the state's attempts to prevent gay marriage being deemed unconstitutional right this new Indiana law which apparently allows people to discriminate against gays on the basis of religion right should spur in my opinion the rest of us to say whatever the law is that we aren't gonna do business in Indiana as long as this law is on the books right so Charles Barkley is saying that Indiana should not have the opportunity to host the Final Four as long as this law is on the books. I agree with him a hundred percent. More importantly, really what sports fans out there should be doing is using their market power. Understand, your economic power is separate and distinct from your political power. In other words, when local politicians start to pander to the worst elements of American society, right, and start to try to come up with legal ways to allow discrimination, right, in a public setting, as if an entrepreneur getting a business license isn't obligated to serve certain sectors of society, right? I thought if you went out and got a business license to make wedding cakes, then you couldn't decide, hey, I'm not going to make cakes for black weddings. I'm not going to make cakes for Latino weddings. I'm not going to make cakes for gay weddings. Apparently now, you can say, you know what? My religion allows me to discriminate against blacks or Latinos or gay people. That's what I'm going to do. Right? Well, my point is this. Whatever the lame cockamamie law that's been passed by some deluded local state legislature, right? the rest of us should be able to play the role of David Bowie. I don't care how good the cake is. If I find out that a cake maker is discriminating against Latinos because he's a member of some religious cult that hates Latinos, Or if I find out that the cake maker is discriminating against gays because he's part of some religious group that discriminates against gays, then I need to take my business elsewhere. Right? I thought one of the best moments in NFL history happened off of the field. When the NFL pulled Super Bowl XXVII from Arizona because Arizona would not recognize Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. Right? Look that up online, especially young people. Understand how America was just a couple of decades ago. Those are the kind of steps we need to take here. Have this lame governor in Indiana explain why he's costing the state revenue from sporting events that have decided to go to more enlightened jurisdictions. I understand socially the world is changing fast. Sure. But my point is simply, when you accept a business license, when you agree to go into business, the price we charge you as a society 
is to remove your ability to randomly discriminate against groups based on ethnicity, sexual orientation, whatever, right? If Indiana has decided differently, if they want to try to bounce back from having their same-sex marriage ban declared unconstitutional by passing these backdoor, really, you know, poll tax type, Jim Crow type of legislation, right, to alienate or, you know, marginalize uh, gays, then I say our response should be to quietly pull Super Bowls, Final Fours, uh, whatever the event is, from Indiana, right? Those behind those events need to understand that they're going to get lower ratings in Indiana because many of us don't want to patronize homophobic businesses. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Let's have a frank discussion. I understand there are very strong opinions on both sides of this issue. Right? I'm not here to shirk away from polarizing issues that, quite frankly, deserve a discussion. Right? Leave your comments in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.